Uh, my name is AJ, um, and I've been playing piano all my life, really, as long as I can remember. Apparently, I used to disappear down into the basement of our house when I was a little two-year-old boy and, uh, and go and play on the piano down there for ages. So, yeah, I've pretty much been playing piano since I could walk. <laughs> I haven't studied music at university, although I did attend university and I studied quantum physics. Um, I was offered a scholarship to study music at university, but the reason I didn't study it at university was because I just found it to be quite a high pressure kind of an instrument and not, I didn't enjoy performing at that age at all. I got very nervous and nobody really seemed to be having any fun, especially me. I think while I'm really happy with where I am at the moment um, I think all of us whatever we're doing in life you know we need to keep we need to keep growing and evolving and changing and if we just sort of settle and keep doing the same thing we can sort of stagnate and lose the magic of life a little bit so yeah, I definitely want to keep evolving my musical treatments into the future. Um, I want to take the piano to places it's never been before, and I don't just mean physically, I mean sort of building the piano into more of a, a fusion instrument, uh, embracing a bit of technology and, and seeing what I can come up with. So watch the space on that. So I enjoy my current life very much at the moment. I think I fell in love with piano again in my sort of adult life after my daughter was born. And I found an old piano at the dump, uh, which had been out in the rain. And because this piano had obviously had a really hard life and was being really neglected, I guess I took a lot of license with it that beforehand I wouldn't have really thought, you know, a piano could endure. Yeah, that began a journey of taking my piano with me and playing it in all sorts of weird and wonderful locations outdoors. And my music at that stage, yeah, it really became inspired by, you know, what the weather was doing. If there was dark, moody sort of storm clouds rolling in, that would be a certain kind of music. If it was a calm, sunny day, that would be a totally different kind of music. And, uh, if it was still or if it was windy, if it was nighttime, if it was daytime, if there were people around, if there weren't. All of those things kind of became the factors that shaped the way that my music evolved. But at the moment, the stage I'm at in life, I have two daughters, 14 and 13, and my partner and a little boy who's four years old. So yeah, when my kids came along, I think a, a lot of things changed and I've always really sort of done everything I can in order to, to be there for them and to be able to provide for them. It was an interesting time because when my first daughter was born, I actually didn't have two coins to rub together, really. I was not, <laughs> I wasn't doing very well in a financial sense. One of the things that I really love about busking and the reason that I think to this point I've sort of stuck with busking is my experience within the music industry is that it, it almost sort of commoditizes music. It turns it into something which sort of, in a way, gets exploited for profit. And there's a whole business model and there's a promotional model that goes with it. And it's, it's very complex. And um, I think, you know, for me, somewhere in all of that, the music sort of suffers a bit, becomes a bit compromised or tinged somehow. Whereas by busking, I feel like I'm I'm taking my music and I'm just offering it freely. I'm just giving it to the world for free. And then 
there's a there's a really beautiful thing which I find difficult to put into words, but the fact that it's not one person or a manager or a booking agent or a promoter or a festival organizer, none of those people say what I'm worth. When it's busking, everybody collectively says, you know, this hour we think you're worth this much, and and nobody really even gets to know what that is except me, which is. Um, I think there's a purity about it, and I think there's a real honesty about it, and I think the onus is always on the performer when you're busking to really like give it 110 percent that you might inspire people to actually stop and listen and be moved to um, want to support you to keep doing that. So that's why I busk. Uh, my pleasure. Oh, thank thank you. you. Awesome. Yeah, nice to meet you both. Nice um, to meet yeah. you. Rosie? Yeah.